All right, today we are tackling a project where we need to do some PTFE hose fittings. Um, I'll be showing you how we install these uh, PTFE hose ends and connect them up to our AN system. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take our hose and we've wrapped some electrical tape around there. Um, the uh, supplier wrapped masking tape around it, but we've wrapped electrical tape and we're gonna take our cutter, our hose cutter at our mark which we made over there and the first thing we're going to do is then shear this hose to the length that we need. So you'll see that using a shears does elongate the opening so it's flattened the hose slightly so you need to put a tool in there and, and open the hose end up a bit. Um, you can use pretty much anything, for me a little angled punch works well and we'll leave it in there for a little while while it recovers. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're just going to snip off any of the stainless steel braid that tore or did not cut quite nicely so we get a nice stainless steel braid edge. It's actually quite a nice edge so we're good to go over there. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the masking tape and we'll start on this end. Here the first thing that we need to do is we need to take off this black outer layer. But before we do that, we're going to slide our nut onto the hose so that it's on there. Because once you take this black off, the stainless steel is going to flare. And when it flares, you won't be able to fit the nut on. So first slide the nut on. And then measure how, take, take your olive and measure how um, long the olive is and you want to cut that black liner off just behind the length of the olive. It cuts fairly easy, so just put your knife in there, cut around it, and then gently cut down the length. All right, and you should be able to slide off your plastic liner. Okay, so with the liner exposed, you can now see the stainless steel, and the cut was slightly longer than our ferrule, but that won't be the end of the world. So the next thing to do is you've got to open the stainless steel braid up over here, what we need to do is lift the stainless steel braid. I'm sure there's a million ways, you probably have a special tool to do it. We just need to lift it enough to fit the olive. So now that we've opened the stainless steel braid, we can take the olive. What you've got to do is carefully slide it underneath the stainless steel braid. And you want it to slide in between there with no stainless steel strands in between. And then you have to push it in all the way in until it seats. I'm not sure if you can see on the camera there, but the edge of the PTFE hose is flush with the olive. So once we've got that, we can now put the uh, fitting edge in. And we're gonna slide it in there nice and gently. What you don't wanna do is fold the inside of the PTFE hose. So you just gotta feel so that it slides in nice and nice. At this point, we're gonna use our soft jaws install the nut into the soft jaws to hold it and then we're going to slide this all the way in until it makes contact. I'm going to put a drop of oil onto our threads here just to help so that they don't go. Right. Now we're going to take our wrench and if you're very worried about the finish on these fittings I suggest you uh, put some insulation or masking tape on your wrench. In our case it's going inside of a fuel tank so I'm not too concerned about it. What you're going to do is you're going to take this fitting. You're going to start to thread it on. You'll see I'm pushing in as we start to thread because you want the nut to engage with the thread. And then you just continue to thread the fitting on. may or may not hear the um, stainless steel braid inside crunching as it starts clamping down. See there, we did not use the uh, insulation tape and so we've marred these fittings. So please be careful if you don't want that marring to happen. And you're going to continue tightening it up until it's tight. You don't have to draw it all the way down, just good and tight.
and there's that fitting assembled. It's positionable. If it is a non-positionable fitting, then what you want to make sure is that the natural bend of the hose is in the direction that you want. But in this case, with it being positional, I can just twist it to get it where I need it. Right, so exactly the same process that we did last time. We're going to remove the olive from our fitting. Okay, we're going to take the olive, just remember to remove our insulation tape or electrical tape, remove the electrical tape, and we're going to take our olive, we're going to measure the distance of the olive, take our knife and cut off at that distance, where's that olive? So all you want to do is just slice straight through the plastic and you'll feel as soon as you're through when you hit the braid underneath. There we go. And then slid it down lengthways. And then slid it down lengthways. And you should be able to flick that plastic open. Once again, I forgot to put the nut on. It's best that you put this on before you slice the plastic because once you take the plastic off the stainless steel braid will open and then it's difficult to get the nut on so first put the nut on before you cut the braid I mean before you cut the plastic right so now we will need to open this end up open the stainless steel braid like we did last time like that right then we're gonna take our olive we're going to slide it onto the hose. Okay, make sure it seats all the way in. Okay, in this case I've gone a little bit too far, so I just want to pull it back out just a little bit. Right, then as we did last time, you're going to take your fitting slide it inside like that place the hose and you place the nut in the soft jaws all right slide it all the way in till the threads engage between the two parts I like putting just a couple of drops of lubricating oil on there and then exactly the same as we did last time You're going to push it in and gently rotate the nut until the threads engage. There you go. Once it's engaged, you can just run it all the way in. There we go. So, there are our two fittings made up, ready to go.